Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is for you. Good day. So, it's first stream, sort of, of the week for me. Because, well, I've been away from streaming this week. I haven't been feeling at my best, so wanted to take get some rest in the evenings. Uh, still actually kind of feeling sleepy, but I do have a fresh cup of coffee with me. Don't have to worry about work tomorrow, so... I guess on the weekend it might be okay for me to mess up my sleep schedule. Just for the stream. Hmm. Uh, don't want to abandon you guys. And you know what? We really got in the mood to play Bannerlord again. Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. It's uh, still not done, but they have added uh, they had a ton of updates. <clears throat> I don't know what exactly. I did hear that they slightly did advance the uh, story quest. Like, you do meet your brother again. Uh, I don't know if you remember after the tutorial, your brother kind of like dips out to look for your younger siblings. And then he kind of never returned, but now I heard he does return. So we're going to check that out. And I figured, what's the best way to come back to this game? I think to try to bring up the rise of Kragmar, the adventurer. If you watched any of my D&D games when Azurus was playing, I played a character called Kragmar. So that's what we're going to be playing. Now let me see here. Well, I was going to ask the, the chat to see what we're going to do, but, well, it's a chat of one, me. So let's see. Kragmar. I'm not going to really pick stats that would make sense for the army he's doing, but what makes sense for Kragmar? Lydians, bonus XP. Sturgians, move better in snow. Empire, better siege weapons. Kragmar isn't a smart person. He's not going to know much about uh, mechanical machines. Not that. Um, he didn't really grow up in the tundra or any like any snow like area. Um, Batanians, better move in the forest. Uh, maybe for Kragmar, like he he is kind of a, a peasant. Uh, not really a peasant, but a commoner, common folk. You know, grew up in a village. Blah blah blah. No real nobility to him. Um, so maybe grew up in a forest area. Kazakh. Um, great, you know, bonuses, horse speed, I think. Uh, actually, let's see. Yeah, I'm on the campaign map. Uh, Kragmar isn't much of a horseman. And, uh, he f for sure is not, uh, not a merchant. So it's between the Validians and Batanians. I'm gonna go with the Validians. He, you know, he's a quick learner. Let's see. Raise the ladders! Die! Shield fall! Uh, huh. Stand your ground! Yeah. He is on the shorter side. Now here. Uh, first, let's do the hair, and we get this multi face after that. He does have a high ponytail. And the sides are shaved. Low ponytail. That's a high ponytail. But I don't think we're going to get the side shaved with a high ponytail. So that's going to be the best. The closest we're going to get. Hair is on the lighter side. Not a blonde though. I'll do that right. And he does have a little bit of a like. Not a big. You know that actually works. A little mustache and a not really soul patch, but we're getting a soul patch. Now let's mold his face. Uh, let's go with the smoother skin. Now the thing is, like, I could do like a million different changes here, unless I go completely like uh, you know, extremes on any of them. I don't think we're gonna notice much of a change outside of the hair he has. Let's see. Hmm. Face sharpness. Let's see. He does not have a soft face. Temple depths. 
Uh, put on the lower side. Eye sockets. Hope keep that medium. Ear shape. His ears don't really stick out much. Ear size. I'll say below average. No, we'll just keep that in the middle. Actually, no, he's always going to have like a little smirk on his face. Actually, that doesn't really look like a smirk. Oh, never mind. Face ratio. Yeah, that's weird. I'm just going to keep that there. Center height. Keep that higher than normal. Now with the eyes. Or eyebrow. Yeah, that works. The depth has slightly lower depth. The sun gets in his eyes pretty easily. And we're going to keep that high. Always looks like he's up to something. So eye precision. Eye size. And, well, he has average size eyes. That actually looks kind of big. Yeah. Mono lid eyes. It's mono lid. Mono lid. Looks like he's squinting now. Down low. Eyelid height. Whoa, okay. Nope. I'm going to keep the eyelid height down back where it was. Eye depth. Uh, I don't really know what spot is what to change. Eye shape. That's good. Outer eye height. I yeah, will keep it there. Inner height. Right. Eye to eye distance. Eye is something. No, that's going to be it. That's, okay, right. Yeah, he has fairly dark eyes. His nose doesn't really have a big nose. Reduce that angle. Length, we're going to shorten that a little bit. Bridge will be in the middle. Tip height. No size, there we go. Bring that up just a little bit. His nose isn't tiny, it's just not big. Yeah, that's better. Now for the mouth, let's see. Get a teeth. Ew. Dental hygiene is important. All right, mouth width. Uh, mouth position. Yeah, low mouth, uh, we'll keep it there. Brown or smile, smile all the way. Lip thickness. Lip forward. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a pucker lip. There we go. Bottom lip shape. Yeah, yeah that's something we're never going to notice in the game. Jawline. He has one hell of a jawline. He is fairly gaunt looking. Chin forward. Chin shape. Doesn't have a giant chin really. He's a smaller. He's on the smaller chin side. And yep, that's gonna be good. Now let's see. Baron retainers. That is not Kragmar. Urban merchants. Uh, maybe it's fam family of merchants. Yaoman. Family of small farmers. Just This might actually be it. Um, uh, small prop, whatever. Urban blacksmith. Ooh, maybe his family is blacksmiths. Hunters. This could also be good for him. Mercenaries. His family was not mercenary. Fragmar is a lone adventurer in his family. Hmm. So it's between blacksmith and Yaoman. Well, Blacksmith gives him his two-handed ability, and so... What is he... Uh, I'm going to give him endurance. So, we, we're going to go to Blacksmith. 
the child leadership skills of uh, Fragmar's not a great leader. Ron, he is a bit of a brute. Attention to details, up to the money. He is a very charming person for sure. I put a lot of points into his charisma. And like I said, he's not really a horseman. So it's between Way of People and Braun. Braun does give us the two handed and we get thrown, which I want him to be able to be pretty good at throwing weapons. Way of People, we are going to need high charm and leadership. Well, not leadership, but high charm for sure. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go with charm. See, growing up, you spent most of your time at the town watch watches training ground? Maybe. With the alley gangs. Nope, Cragmar, he's a good boy. The docks and building sites. Uh, in the markets. And caravanserias. What? Caravanseris? With the merchants. We didn't study that. It's not Cragmar. Working in stables. Not really, so... Training ground, maybe. At the docks and building sites, you know, probably something like helping his family out. It does give him athletics. And since he's not going to be riding a horse, he is going to need athletics. What is this? Tactics? But, uh... And the town's watch trainer. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, I I think this would ma make sense. If him wanted to be a great adventurer. As a, as a youngster growing up in Calradia, war was never too far away. You, trained with the cavalry. Mm, maybe not. Stood guard with the garrison. Maybe this. Rode the scouts. Again, he's not going to ride. Trained with the infantry. This seems more like it, really. Joined skirmishers. Maybe this as well. March into camp followers. So it's between the skirmishers and the infantry. Hmm. Put in the garrison. Ah. I'm going to say he trained with the infantry. Before you set out on a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was. Defeat an enemy in battle. See, you saved your city, Florida from fire. You invested him. No, nah, he's not going to invest. You survived the siege. Just, uh, famous escapade. I mean, you'd think that would sound like Ragmar. But, okay, treating people well, that is something he would have done, definitely. And we do get some more points in our social. Between treating people well and defeat an enemy in battle. Okay, plus one to mercy, generosity, and honor. Yeah. That's definitely something for Craig Moore. Do we get anything for the one to Valor? These traits are very good for Craig Moore, right there. And I think like doing the character creation, this is the only way we can really get these traits. I don't know if there's any way to get them while you're playing the game. I know you could lose them while you're playing the game. I don't know if they implemented a way for you to get them back. Let's see. Like many families in Radio, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of, of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying at you, your staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two younger siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because we subdued a raider. Very Craig Marlike. 
Throw them off arrows. Maybe not arrows. Hold fast on a horse. Gregmar won't, won't, won't run away. Trick the raiders. Maybe. Organize the travelers in a breakout. Here's the thing. Like, to do a raider that does make sense for Kragmar for sure. But, uh... He would, he would also definitely try to, like, protect the people. Hmm. Oh, we do get a point in Valor. No, no, that's Vigor. I'm sorry. We don't get Valor for that. So let's see. Would he help the people with the end to escape? Or would he... Would he Subdue a raider. Ultimately, do we want more points in our social or more points in our vigor? gonna go with the social now the, the only problem with this build that i see right now is our intelligence is low which is very kragmar like and our steward is very low so our army is going to be small but that's fine we'll work with that i haven't really played a build with a low stewardship so uh we'll see if i can make that work hmm We're going to go subdue a raider. And of course it's going to be Kragmar. Hey, blacksmith, whatever, way your people. Uh, okay. We'll go with this. Difficulty. Friendly troops receive realistic damage. Friendly party, parties receive realistic damage. Player receives. Now oh, we'll keep it easy. Difficult Recruitment difficulty. Realistic. Movement speed on map. Realistic. Combat AI, we'll keep that in veteran. Um, and we'll start the game. Now let me see, how's the volume in the game? Let me increase the volume in the game there. Hopefully that's better. Brother, it has been three days now. We've been tracking those those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Varric and Al Alda? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time to brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. Now, I've done this tutorial a few times. A long time ago. It hasn't been, it's been a while. And I haven't played the game in a while. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's let's continue the tutorial. Going through the run course, I need to know I can fight if I have to. Of course, Kragmar knows how to fight. Okay, that, okay. Oh, weapon training. Alright, taking the sword. Okay, let's attack from all different directions, and stab. Okay, now choose another weapon, okay. Ha 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 ha, the two-handed sword. This is Kragmar's weapon right here. I've at you! <laughs> I meant to do that. Advanced sword training. Oh, wait. 
Oh, I, I hate using uh, the pikes and pole arms uh, on the ground. It's great when you're riding a horse, but terrible when you're on the ground. Yeah, if you're going up against a point of a shield, it's so easy for them to block. They don't really have to worry about a direction. Put a cheap shot in. Can I change up my weapon? I'm going to change up my weapon. There we go. There we go, come on. Yeah. Alright, I see that this method of fighting is uh, still valid. Oh, you still stop blocking it. Stop blocking. How, how do you block that? I block uh, attacking your back. Maybe, maybe this isn't valid anymore. She would be broken by now. This is a real sword. How's your shield? Okay, well, this is a wooden sword. Put your guard down. Wait, this has already beat the rookie trainer. You wanna do anything? I forgot I could kick. My foot, my, my, my kicking uh, reach is so short. Okay, I'm terrible at kicks. Ragmar, that's something you gotta practice on. How, how did you miss that? You was running? Why, why are you so... I, I hit you so many times already. Oh freaking time, jeez. Are you gonna keep blocking too? What the hell? I already finished it. What's it? What's it? How's your problem? I want to see if I can actually break his shield. Oh, I could connect with kick. And well, does, like I, and I can back with the kick, but the stun's not fast or long enough for me to actually connect with a sword. Lame. Oh, advanced training. Okay, now I gotta do this. Spear and shield, sword and shield. Why did I? Why did I do this? One. But I, I could do that too. See? How do you like that, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah. My shield's taking no damage. I wonder if I'm actually uh, getting, uh, getting points, like, uh, for, um, you know, stat points for doing this. I know you did it before. I don't know if they changed that. Supposedly in the original Banner Lord, um, the, the training camps, you could actually get stat points for doing the, the training.
How do we do the shield bash? I'm still kicking. I thought the kick was a shield bash if we hold it had a shield. There we go. Oh, I gotta be... Okay. Take that. Okay, I gotta be holding... Like, blocking. Take that. Yeah, normally, like, this... I'm not used to shield bashing. I've never really done it before. More effective than I thought it would be. Okay, now let's get the stupid spear. This is gonna be retarded. Can I just beat him down with the shield? Yes, if I thought it was annoying before when he was just blocking my sword. Okay, so it's, it's way easier to block the spear. Why why is it easier for you now? Come on, I went over your block. Okay. Now you Hey, stupid rookie, why are you hitting me in the back? Don't be a sore loser. There we go. You know, now let's go to the range combat. Now, while I do want to uh, bring a point, um, like his ability with uh, thrown weapons for sieges. How do I do that? Oh. For sieges, I do want him to uh, be able to use crossbows during a siege. I think they'll be more effective than uh, javelins. Really? It was like, okay. I was expecting a drop on that. I forget how accurate crossbows were. It's a really long load, oh, reload speed. Oop. Yeah. Beat that time. But it won't be hard to beat that time, though. Alright. Now let's see here. Much faster rapid fire for sure. Damn, Cragmar, you a natural. Oh yeah. All right, now the javelins. This is what we really need to practice with. Drop on these are going to be pretty heavy. Oh, thank goodness for automatically refilling the ammo. Very much appreciate the game. Oh, missed that. Gotcha. Oh, kind of surprised I hit that. Yeah, forty-one point three. Hmm, I wonder. Just checking to see if I gain any uh any stat points. This guy seems to be immortal. 
I headshot him? A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Is that a headshot? Yeah, that was a headshot. Oh, one more. Nope, not gaining any points. And let's see if that hits anybody. All right. Where are the horses? There we go. Uh, let's start off this one with the horse. This will be more difficult, really. Alright. Just need to hit the targets. Does not need to be bull's eyes. Oh, that was so high! There we go, point blank. Hey, it hits a hit, right? Yeah, Craigmore, you got this. I hope I didn't miss any back there. But I do remember, like, you have to, like, shoot to your left. Like, you can't really shoot to your right. Yeah, horse jump and arrow shot. Like a master. Oh, you hit the ground. There we go. Come on, come on. Yep. And... One more. Excellent. All right. Let's uh, put a pole arm. Twenty three targets of this. Okay. Yeah, I remember there's no really there's no reticle here. You just gotta try to figure out where the center of the screen is because Okay. And you gotta time to thrust this right, just like don't do it too early like I did there. And of course you can't do it too late either. Because uh, cavalry with pole arms do massive damage if you just get to attack this right. I remember one of my games, like way early, when I first started playing, I actually got a glaive, a horse. I was doing like over 200 points of damage with a good charge against like hordes of enemies. Pretty ridiculous. But Kragmar, he's not going to be a horse guy. He's going to be on, on foot with the rest of his infantry. I'm going to try to do like archer heavy army. I keep things like fairly low with uh with uh cavalry this time around. Since I normally try to get a like, big cavalry going. Let's do more. Where's the there's the last one? Yeah, almost perfect. Well, now we just need to get the sword done. Oh, <laughs> just casually push the horse aside. This should be a little bit easier. I say that's a missed one. Come on. 
Really? That's what went right through it. There we go. Okay. This is BS. Come on. We gotta catch up. I wanna get on with the game. Damn it, Craigmore! Should I just get off the horse in this? Okay. How did I not hit? I, I don't. I, oh. yeah. My my sword is just going right through it. it. Again, it went right through it. Like, do I need to hit it with my fist, or like the hilt of the blade? Okay, that one went over it. So that was that's on me, guys. See if I angle it off from the side. There we go. Oh, yours. You don't take, actually take damage from random things. I wonder if they'll ever implement that. Okay, that went under. Like, the horse takes damage for, like, running into trees and stuff. Because I know I ran into plenty of trees when I first started playing it. Urgh. Urgh. I know it's the wrong way. Stop telling me that. I'm just trying to get these damn pots. I stabbed this thing. Aha! Okay, there's a few more pots and we're done with this. Yeah, I don't even know what the horse ran into there. Last one! this. Get out of your horse! Oh. Damn it. Let me escape with you. Alright, bro. Let's get out of here. I'm ready. Let's go. Alright. Uh, leave. Let's see. Before we do anything else... We are low on food. There's a village north of here where we get, get provisions. Okay. The enter the settlement. Do we really? I mean, I could just. I could just go into like buy products. We're here, I guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The headmen here can probably help us. Let's try to find them. There he goes. When do I need to get off my horse to talk to him? We can just talk to him from up here. There we go. I am Aronis, headman of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our... <clears throat> Hello, we need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they're gone north. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here. Will join you in going after them if you'll pay them for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come talk to me again. Come talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. All right, leave the message. Hit tab. Okay. Your troops. Okay. Let's go. You get the money for this? Well. Buy products. Yep. Let's get all of them food. You only have three. You need your sheep. I don't like my weapon choice. 
Ragmar needs a sword. We got terrible armor. We have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. Um, okay. Let's click off that. Okay. Click off that. Click off that. Okay. Talk. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now, about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes comes through here from time to time. Name is Tactios. Treats people for free. We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though it wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders come uh, come through here. This before the raiders come through here? And then it came through here? Well, he's not really a worldly type. Just the kind of fellow who stumbled into a trap and let himself get be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep an eye out eye for him, this Tactios would be very grateful. Maybe, if he's alive as well, he'll tell you a little more about his, his quest. Alright. A pretty crappy weapon loadout. So we need to beat up these raiders. Or bandits. Oh, we got two of them at once. They outnumber us, but I think we got a better... Well, my brother should be like a... Should have some really good stats. Yeah. I should get to put his points in places. He completely maxed out his one-handed. Let's see. Um, Should I bother doing this now? You know what, let's. One of the weapons so you're wheeled to have increased handling. Good bashes and okay, do that. Increase the damage of axes and maces. He's using a sword right now. Increase swing speed. While mounted, your one-handed weapons deal an increased of uh, five percent damage. Cavalry troops in your formation lead. Okay. Lose effect of wielding a shield and well, he's gonna be on horse. Hit points increase by two. Melee troops get 5% more experience in every battle. 20% more damage while wielding a one-handed weapon without a shield. Get double run out. He's not going to be fighting at tournaments. That's going to be me. Your shield takes 20% less damage from blocking. Um, larger shield protection area against ranged weapons on shields. Uh, that seems like a good pick. Infantry troops gain two uh, plus two daily experience. Garrison wages and governance settles reduced by five. Infantry using information get ten percent total experience after battles. Increase garrison limit in a governed settlement by thirty. Hmm. Uh, cheaper wages or more troops? Because I was definitely going to put my brother in as a. As one of my governors when he came back because i heard he comes back and then i was going to make him governor whatever castle i got i do like money so we're gonna go with cheaper wages and oh my goodness look at that stewardship maybe i shouldn't maybe i should make him my quartermaster instead more taxes from villages uh, puppet, uh produ production from farms well oh, he's not the clan leader that's gonna be me seven percent he grows quadruple army commander less influence needed to summon oh he's not the commander that's gonna be me each fief you own maybe this will carry over villages you own grow a double the rate Food consumption reduced by 20%. That's if he's quartermaster, which he's not. It's going to be me, unfortunately, and I'm going to be pretty bad at that stat. Thirty percent more tax income from mines. Plus 10 to party size for every vassal. Well, he's going to be a governor, so he's going to pick that. The charm. Oh, he's a charmer. 
We gotta see if it runs in the family. Uh, we're now for each issue resolve. Round battles. This is well, maybe this. Maybe this will carry over. Like if he's with me while I'm resolving issues. This isn't gonna apply to him at all, really. Increase relationship gain from opposite gender. Increase relationship gain from same gender. You know Cragmore's gonna be a ladies man. He can be the man's man. Leadership. They're they're both for party leaders. In case I ever make him like a uh, lead his own party before I get uh, a cast for him to uh, sit in. But he's not going to be a party leader. Wait, when defending? Okay, if he's going to be defending my castle. Yeah, there we go. Town garrison is 20% more effective. Town's a 20% higher loyalty. I want to have a very fight to the garrison. I never ran into I never ran into issues of loyalty when I played this game. Or wages. Do that. Increase security in a town by five while waiting. These are both party leader things. You're able to revert bandits into regular troops. Let's see if I can get this while while uh, he's in my party. That takes. Oh well, this is easy. Raid. I will do that. Uh, let's see. Clan leader. Clan leader. Well. He's not going to be either of those. He's not going to be clan leader or clan leader. Caravans gather trade rumors, also marked items. The workshops gather trade rumors. I'm going to go more workshops than I'm going to go caravans. Villager party entered and well, your town generates 10 gold income. Every caravan entering your town generates 25 gold income. What the villagers? Um, uh, he's not gonna be clan leader, so the athletics. They give him the hit points. He's gonna be on a horse. Uh, slightly increased persuasion. Slightly or increases craft and stamina recovery. Uh, in case I ever wanted a blacksmith, I guess. Raiden, okay. Increases your charge damage. Mounted troops in your formation. Okay, blah blah blah. Using your maneuvering. Let's do a charge damage. Mounted your mount's hit points when your mount falls in battle, 50% chance of getting lame instead of 100% chance. Government settlements get plus one priority. Yeah, this for the prosperity thing. What leader? Ah, uh, neither one of those mattered really. Mount speed by five percent. Make him fast, bro. Throwing. Are you gonna be throwing much? Do damage one. Uh, and, uh, mounted a. Uh, nothing really for governor.
Oh, you've been working on the crossbow, I see. Why can't we place this guy? This is reload time. Increases crossbow damage against mounts. The nothing for governor. Uh, the bow. Are you gonna be using the bow much? Uh, personal captain. Personal captain. Uh, nothing for governor. Oh, here we go. In governor set. Range troops and governor garrison provides 20% more security. Governor settlement gains plus one militia per day. Go of increased militia. And increases your party size by five. Increases accuracy. Now two-handed, Kragmar is going to be the two-handed beast. Better back off, bro. Uh, let's see. Personal captain. Personal captain. That doesn't really matter. Party leader. Party leader. Let's see. Captain. Captain. Governor. Oh, yeah, here we go. Increased damage of two. Okay, military projects uh, are built 30% faster. Garrison and governed town have their wages reduced by 10. Yes. And all your pole arms. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, captain, captain. Oh, governor. Going to the governor. Bonuses to push in opponents with a successful thrust. Okay, blah, blah. Increases militia recruitment and governed city by one. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There we go, the governor. Increase the garrison cavalry in governed settlements is increased by 20%. Government settlements gain plus one security per day. We'll go with that. We got, we got everything there? Oh wait, I have one point here to put. Hmm. I am gonna need to bring up my stewardship for sure for one have any decent sized army. Leadership definitely gonna be useful for the experience. And oh, man, I really want this. Revert bandits to uh, regular troops. This, I always try to work my way up towards like getting uh, this just for the bonus hit points. I could never get my medicine high enough. Never. Charm, I'm doing okay with charm. Tactics, well, something good with tactics that I remember that I really liked. So I'll just do more simulations. This is good, actually. The I should have no points in throwing. So stewardship or throwing? Go throwing for now. Need to get some javelins. Wait, we're all on cavalry? Yep, Cut charge. Them down! And they all have better horses than me. Well, my riding skill is crap. How did I miss that? They always say, they still say, you don't. Really? You chamber blocked my thrust? Stop throwing rocks at me. We got one of them. Where'd the rest of my troops? Oh, here they come. Then I'm on a horse and you're throwing rocks. Do you not see a problem with that?
Oh, one of my troops went down. I think these bandits actually weren't better armored than me. Oh, really? I got taken down? Are we gonna lose this fight? Oh, there's my brother's horse got taken down. He, he actually has a shield. I don't have a shield. Fast forward this. Well, we won at least. But now I need a rest so I can get my hit points back. Wait a minute. Where's those kind of disappeared there? Okay, is there any better armor here? Looks terrible, but it's actually better. My brother Warren. You know, I want your scarf. Actually, never mind, it's actually the same armor. Got sword. Okay, uh, let's see if I could. I, can I not make myself? I can't get myself a roll here. Did they change that? Did they put it in a different spot? Gonna take a shield. Your armor. I'm gonna take your armor. You're gonna have that. And you know we're gonna slot it sheep. This is gonna be resting here. We need extra food. We can't wait. But I'm back at 100 health. All right, thank you, Tutorial. Nope. Everybody charge. I'm gonna go at it with the sword this time. Really? You guys just ran right into the trees? Supposed to be better riders than me. Okay. Whoop, oh, oh, I missed you. I don't look like a boss to me there. I wonder if I'm gaining any skill points from doing any of this. Or like since it's a tutorial, I don't gain any points. <laughs> I killed him. The horse had one hit point of damage and running him over and killed him. Rat. Fine, I'll take the spear. At least I hit him. Oh, wait, I am gaining levels with this. Rat. I'm gonna use my one handed skill on him. Hmm. I wonder if I can do damage to the horses. Boots and what I got. My civilian gear. This just looks ugly. I'm just gonna wear this instead. You rescued several prisoners from the raiders. Um, you re 
You rescued several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They looked parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. I don't know who you are, but I am in your debt. These brigands have well would have marched us to our deaths. My name is Tactios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest. Ooh, a quest, you say. But now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. I was on a caravan and they just came out of the bush or out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed, without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I have a way to thank you. Came along, ellipses. Maybe I have a way to thank you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radigals, took, um, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around this area. If this lot had your kin, if, you, if, if this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing of value left to repay you, to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with the with and defeat the ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value, if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but, as I say, I've had all my urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than twenty paces from where I along to from the twenty paces from a well as long as I live. We'll keep that in mind. It doesn't look like much, but I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once, and swore it was related to Naretzi's folly. I don't know what that means except that Noretzi was of course the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you can find out uh, its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. Hideout's right up here. Alright, let's attack these uh, weapons that I don't approve of. You guys follow me. Alright, there's usually at least one person up here. That doesn't seem to be the case now. nice. I like the reflections in it. Not the best water I've seen. Actually, now that I think about it, there's no splash in them when I... Okay. Water's okay. It has nice reflections, but it doesn't really do anything else that water should be doing. Campfire right there, but there's nobody by that campfire. There's a fire hazard, guys. Alright. 
Really? You, got, you haven't noticed us yet? Not exactly being sneaky here. way over there. If only I had my javelins. Okay, we're missing one? We're missing. I don't think I've ever been further down this... Must have been somebody back there. Everybody charge. Go find the last. Yep, there was somebody back there. Darn my low athletics. Alright, All right, you guys find him yet? Is he on the other side of the mountain? Yes, we are not the side of that mountain. Can you actually walk up that mountain? They could actually walk up that mountain. I didn't think they'd be able to do that. Am I gaining an athletics by doing this little jog? Alright, you guys uh, finish that up. I'll catch up. Whew, this is, this is going to be murder in the quads. Come on, you got this, Cragmar. Deep breaths, come on. Fight through the pain. Almost there. Up, oh, they got him. So, who's, who's this that comes through my place of business? Get of my employees. We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to the slave market, I know. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about uh, you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I'll force you to lick up all the blood you spilled here, with your tongues. Or, you and I could settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Cragmore, even though I'm beat to hell, he is gonna, he does accept duels. Yep, could have seen that coming. Hey, my athletics went up. All right, so did we just start that over? You were defeated by whatever's party, but your brother saved you. It doesn't look like you're going anywhere, though. So you should attack again once you're ready. You must have at least four members in your party. If you don't, go back to again and recruit more. Yeah, we have plenty. Uh, but I do have a level up. Okay, one-handed. Uh, one-handed weapons you wield have a handling increased. Shield bash now deals 50% more damage and stuns the enemy for longer. Um, not really going to be much, oh, using shields much once I get a two-handed weapon, though. And I should really start working on the stewardship. Alright. Day two, guys. Why did I put my shit away? Follow me. Alright, there's somebody here this time. Need to get a faster sword.
Yeah, hopefully I won't forget anybody this time. Hey, at least I'm building up my athletics through this tutorial. All the guys. I'm gonna have to send my guys out to charge to find anybody that everybody that I'm missing. Oh, they're way over there. Alright, I'm I'm still brushing off the rust guys. It takes a long while for athletics to build up. I'm telling you, you are slow in this game. Whoop! <laughs> my own guy blocked my blocked my attack. I took so much damage from that because of that. Hey, my tactics went up for some reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just gonna say the same thing. Ah, his weapon is faster than mine. I just need to get one more swing off. Take two. Three. Wait, wait, what was that? Taking prisoner. Yeah, it's been taken prisoner. Oh, weird. Our morale's pretty low, though. You know, I didn't check to see if the mace is faster than the sword. Mace is faster than the sword. It does have a shorter reach, though. Can I cheat the tutorial to keep doing this build up my stats before I start the actual game? Just a thought. Can you guys trade shields with me? I like your shields better. Be so far away. I know there's like spawn points here for the enemies. Why did they send them all the way over there? Knowing that, you know, when you're in the tutorial, your character's gonna have really terrible athletics. mind a shorter range. And he's still attacking for me. Wait, was that the only guy? <laughs> or this guy's is getting this getting tired of waiting. Oh he's the only one left. Interaction with this person is disabled during tutorial stage. What? 
What? Did I break the tutorial? Okay, I need a ranged weapon. I could do some damage to him if I had a ranged weapon. Nobody here has a ranged weapon. I broke the tutorial, guys. Okay, that's just a mace. Can't throw that. Tell him to charge. Did it stand there? Uh, yeah. Tutorial's borked. Uh, we're gonna try this again. Really, he should, he should be the only guy left. Everybody charge. Just kill whoever's left. Oh, you're going that way. Is that the faster way? I guess so. Do these guys have guys have like Nordic tracks in their little uh, villages? Man, that upper leg strength to get up here. At least see like if they there is somebody oh oh my brother just got taken out somebody else took out the uh, one of the leaders my medicine went up too i don't know how but it did i broke the tutorial guys You can't cheese a tutorial because it just breaks. I don't know what to do. And we're out of food. How are we out of food? Okay, uh, buy more food. All this stuff. Okay. Uh, whew. Okay. Yeah, we're on the right path, but uh, the game's broken, bro. Everybody charge. Maybe um, letting the night pass. We'll let the... Uh, let this work. Otherwise, the safe house screwed. Hmm. I hope there's an auto save before this thing got broken. The problem is we've been in and out of here so many times. The auto save will probably like. There's only two autosaves, and they'll both 
most likely be after the game is broken. And there goes my brother getting taken out again. My medicine went up to three. Why? He's the guy we're supposed to attack. Gilly, can you? I can't even talk to her. Um, is there another village I go to to buy a ranged weapon? Rat, can't even go to the. Ah. Uh. Can I talk to you? Maybe this will reset something. Can't even talk to you. Let's see what time is it right now? 40, this was five minutes ago, eight minutes ago. This is our only shot. Okay. One troop is deserted. Oh, we're out of food. Okay. Won't be an issue if this works, if that won't be an issue. I already stole your shield, bro, so. Guys will always run up here. And then my brother will get taken out by somebody. Most likely one shot it. Well, I just noticed I'm getting some massive drop frames. Hold up, hold up. What is going on with my OBS? Skip frames detected 25% over latency. What? What is going on? Well, there's something I could change about it now. This has been going on for what? Over an hour now? Oh my goodness. I, okay, I'm gonna try to finish this tutorial like this one last time, but this fails. Regardless, I think I'm just gonna have to end the stream. I didn't realize the lag was so bad. Drop frames. I have no idea why. There he goes. Now that was that was actually Rodigos. That was you. No, it wasn't. Wait, a completely different armor. And tutorials busted. 
This save file is Capo. And, um, exit out of this game. Uh, so, so sorry for that. So sorry for the terrible stream. Don't know what's going on with my OBS. I have no idea why the frames are just turning to crap. And I'm, this is, has not been a great week for me. Not a great week. Hopefully things get better tomorrow. Hopefully I start feeling better. Hopefully OBS doesn't crap out like this again. And uh, I don't know what we're streaming tomorrow. Maybe Dark and Light. We'll see. But I'm going to end the stream there. Uh, nobody is here watching. So, hey, if for any, cha for any reason you're watching this on replay or YouTube, you would have probably clicked off of it when, once you notice all the terrible lag. So I'm just talking to myself. So you know what? I'm just going to log off. You guys have a great night. Later.